Myself and Thor on our YouTube channel, KPC Martial Arts. We cover, uh, we start, we're reviewing videos of actual attacks that happen and breaking down what happened in those videos whenever they come out, if they ever come out, they haven't been out yet. But there's one video that was extremely terrifying where a girl got grabbed by her hair, thrown to the ground, and stomped on. So this is why we really, we watch this stuff all day, and this is why we give such, so much energy into making sure this doesn't happen, because that video will make us sick to our stomach. So, the same thing, I can get grabbed by the hair, I might not know what's going on, I might not do entry, I get clapped, then, the first thing that's gonna happen, he might just try to get on top of me, but he also might start stomping on me and kicking me. Okay, and this is a very violent form of action, but it's also one of the most effective techniques you could do. I said our legs are strong, so let's put our body, right? So are his, and his gravity assisting him. Which means this is gonna cause a lot of damage. Every time it impacts me, boom, my head is also gonna probably hit concrete, which that secondary impact is gonna do actually more damage than the stomp. Okay, and if they're wearing boots, or stilettos, or whatever, all the things I just said apply here, right? So if it can happen to me, it can happen to them, and vice versa. So, what I want to do here, as soon as I hit the ground, we're going to do what we call a helmet cover. I'm going to take one of my hands, I'm just going to cover my face. Okay, and I want to cover over my sinus cavities, but I want my eyes visible so I can see what's going on. The second hand, just like our choke defense, is going to come and grab the back of the neck. The reason we grab the back of the neck is now when he hits me and stomps on me, my head doesn't move and snap onto the ground. So I'm covered, but this reinforcement on the back of my neck is going to make sure that I'm not cracking my head off of concrete. So from here, I'm going to cover. I'm going to turn to the side that I can, and as soon as I can, I'm going to move and start doing the same thing we did two seconds ago. We're going to get that person away from us. So again, one more time, the cover is a Dracula or Batman here. Boom, one. This comes over and reinforces the back of my head. And it doesn't matter if your hand is over or under, whatever position ends up. But what matters is you're holding your head so when you're getting impacted, you're not hitting the ground. Okay? He's going to feed me a couple stomps. Oh God. Bang. Bang. I'm going to move the best I can, get my legs in the way, and then start doing the damage I can do. Three. So, first hand is Batman. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. And you want to grab the back of your head, and so you want to cover your nose so he can't smash on your sinuses. Yeah, tighter is better. Yep. Turn, so, uh, yeah, turn, 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 turn. So now, Thor, come to this side of her. Yeah, put your guard up. Okay, he's gonna start hitting, stopping on you. Boom, boom, okay, now turn, turn, turn. Turn, bang, 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 nice, and get out of it. Beautiful. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, and just kick. Kick, 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 yeah. Nice. We're going progressively bad to worse here. Worst case scenario is they don't have room to move. So I'm here, he's stomping on me, right? And I can't move because the wall won't let me move. So I need to do something else. The only way through is through him. So as I'm getting hit, I'm going to accept that. To the best of my ability, I'm going to roll, and I'm going to grab the bottom of the ankle. I'm going to take this hand, I'm going to shear the knee. I'm going to bring that person down, and I'm going to get up and get away as fast as I can. We're here. I'm going to kick and stomp. I'm in trouble, right? From here. I'm just going to roll, and I'm going to grab and hook the bottom of the leg. I'm going to take the second hand, I'm going to shear the knee in the direction it's not supposed to go, and I'm going to roll out of bed, make this happen, then I'm going to hit and escape. Okay, so shell, yeah, cover, yeah, he's going to kick, bang, so from there, you're just going to roll, yeah, roll, wrap, get your elbow around it, yep. Now you're gonna roll and pop his elbow the knee the way it's not supposed to go. There you go, roll, roll, roll. Yeah! That's okay, he knows how to break Nice! Alright, everyone, so that's a quick synopsis of the most common attacks that happen to women in a predatory or asocial manner. Uh, what I want you to understand is that education will always trump training if you don't have access to regular training. The more training you can get, the better you're going to be. But honestly, I think the most important thing is to draw your own lines in the sand. Decide what you think is worth fighting for, because then your brain will accept it. Once you've given yourself permission to do something, it's much easier to do it. So for my self authority, I'd like to thank Sarah for having us on her channel. <laughs> and uh, if there's any other videos your fans want to see. Yeah, exactly. Let me know um, what you guys want to see.
see and we'll try and work with what we can. And yeah, thank you for Thor and Randy for working with me. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Exactly, subscribe. Send them some love and appreciation. Yeah, and all the people watching, all the eight people on our site watching, subscribe over here too. Let's give a little love back this way. Alright, bye guys.